Today we're having a chat to Melinda Bowd, who's currently working at Marston Park as leader of wellbeing. But you've come from Emmaus College after a fantastic experience and doing some very innovative and different things. Would you like to just walk us through what your work at Emmaus has been? Sure. Um, yes, you're right. I finished at Emmaus at the end of last year after being there for six years as the assistant principal. And particularly over my time there, the work that we do as a school community there with our South Sudanese students probably had one of the biggest, um, the biggest impact on me professionally and personally. Mm. And last year I had the opportunity, or we did at Emmaus, have the opportunity to do some work with the Josephite Refugee Student Mentoring mm. Program. And that allowed us to, there's so many complex issues that mm. the community, the South Sudanese community face. And so it allowed us to really think about the work that we were doing with our kids there and whether or not we were setting them up for success post year 12 as well as we could. And the work with Sister Maria Sullivan and Tess Mulvaney allowed us to be more precise about how we mm. were supporting those young people in that transition post school mm. into year 13. And it really changed the work that we were doing with year 12, especially at that point last year, being part of the pilot program with the Josephites. Mm. Uh, it's sort of, it's a stupid question to ask why. Obviously there's a need, but you obviously identified very quickly that you, know, you could do something and, and there was that need. You know, how would you express that need? Yeah, it's a really good question and I'm glad you asked it because there are so many complex, complex issues for the parents mm. of our South Sudanese students, the complexity around their resettlement experience, their experiences often entrenched in trauma. And then we have these young people who, it's hard enough really to be a teenager. <laughs> and then they have all of these other complex layers of um, risk and vulnerability and disadvantage. So as a school, it's our responsibility, I think, to really ensure that we're facilitating success for yeah. all of our young people. So the program allowed us, especially with the influence of Sister Maria and Tess, to realise there were some simple things that we weren't mm. doing that we needed to do for the kids. So something as practical as ensuring they have a tax file number, ensuring they have their driver's licence, all of those documents yeah. around identity that make it easier for them when they do finish school. Mm. Now, John Sinya was actually the person, the South Sudanese liaison officer here in Parramatta, who his words, which have always stuck with me, is that these South Sudanese young people are, to quote him, falling off a cliff at the end of year 12. Now, when someone says that to you, that's at the point where you say, well, that's not good enough and we have to do something as a system and as a school to change that. So you, you sort of worked on it like a, 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 a curriculum for life. A hundred percent. So the, the program allows us to support the kids by introducing them to a mentor mm -hmm. um, in year 12. And there are obviously uh, year 13 um, organisations out yeah. there in the community. But the difference is, is that when you establish that at school, there are already those positive relationships mm -hmm. that exist. So it's interesting. I had the opportunity to go to a follow up meeting with these young people recently. So the cohort from Emmaus from 2020 and all of the students who are being mentored are actually still in touch with mm. the mentors, still part of the program. And 100% of them are either studying at university or TAFE or employed. And so that's how you actually break the cycle mm. of poverty and disadvantage for this group who deserve to be able to succeed. Well, just, you know, you, you're a, a term and a bit of, away from that experience. If you sort of reflect on it, what effect has it had on you and, and how do you think it's sort of enhanced your, your, your understanding and even your, your skill set that you're taking to this role? Yeah, well, obviously, well-being, I think, is at the heart of yeah. the work that we do because if a young person's well-being isn't where it can be, then the chance of them fulfilling their learning potential is obviously um, limited. When I was at this meeting recently, a reunion, a touching base at this point in the year with the 2020 cohort in year 13, I looked around the room and I saw the kids there from Emmaus and it was so lovely to see them because obviously mm. I'm missing that community <laughs> a lot. 
but I felt I had a young man who was sitting beside me and I won't go into the details of his personal story, but I'm going to be honest with you, 12 months ago, I think his prospects were actually quite dire. Mm. And I think from this program, he's working. Mm. He's doing really well. And the fact that he came to this meeting on a very rainy Sunday night, mm. I thought was an achievement in itself. And one of the other boys brought along a friend who wasn't part of the program. And he said, my friend needs to be here. Mm. He needs to be here at this meeting. And when the kids start to realise that the program and the support that they're getting is making a difference to their, their life mm. trajectory in a positive way, well, I think that for me was... Mm a wonderful moment. Well, I can only thank you and we're grateful that you give your skills and the talents, but I, I see this energy and ha you've got a smile on your face. You obviously enjoy it even though it is yeah. difficult. I think all wellbeing work can be, it's hard when you look at the kids that you care about and you know that their lives are really complex, but these problems that they have are not ours to solve. But what we can do is look at the strengths and the things that are within our power to change. And what I've come to realise is there are so many things that we can do, and that's the most import, important work, I think. Mm, well, thank you very much, Melinda. My pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity to Good. talk about this very important issue for these young people who are absolutely amazing. Great. Thank you.